Yeah, we asked for a mediator between us and my father. And I really don't see what's wrong about bringing somebody in, you know, as a unifier between two parties. Like the cream between two biscuit halves of an Oreo. Profound, Harry. Although you must admit it was a ludicrous suggestion insofar as they were obviously never going to go for it. <laughs> yeah, right? Because they won't embrace, like, modern solutions to age-old problems. I even heard that Camilla choked on her tea. That's a shame. But the best way to prevent future, you know, family squabbles is to set up, you know, safe space parameters and proper accountability for what people say, you know, because like, because words have feelings. No, because words have consequences, you know, and like can cause seriously hurt feelings, right? Oh, that's it, yeah. I knew that words and feelings were connected somehow. I just wasn't sure exactly how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which kind of makes me wonder why you spoke in the first place. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, my mistake. Well, I have a comment here from a fraudster with no gender, whose favorite song is The Great Pretender, who asks, what Disneyfied version of reality are they living in, thinking that Prince Charles or Prince William were ever going to air their grievances in front of a mediator who's probably a pansexual spiritual herbalist guidance counselor with a ponytail and a name tag with his preferred pronouns and a name like Kevin, spelt with a C. They can leave Kevin out of this. Yeah, no, he's a really great guy, you know? And he, you know, he really helped me deal with Harry's annoying habits. Oh, what did he suggest? Uh, spend less time with him. Uh, it's simple, but effective. It works. <gasps> and now, when we do see each other, all of those previously annoying things are like little love muffins that Megan finds so endearing. She loves them all now, like when I break into song. Get what's coming to me, get what's coming to me, get what's coming to me, get what's coming to me. Uh, remember, Harry, the rarer, the better. Uh, back to Kevin. Oh yeah, Kevin's a great guy, great guy. You know, he really helped me out too, when I was starting to worry that Megan was completely taking me over. Oh, what did he say? Or just give in and go with it. Uh, that was the video, and if you'd be kind enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it would be much appreciated.